Hi guys, a very warm welcome to Motorhoming Adventures. Motorhoming Adventures. Absolutely, this is our new channel and the old one being? It was, it was offshore and onshore adventures but here we're going to bring you all things motorhoming, the UK, Europe, further afield, who knows. Absolutely and we'll also be bringing across some of our original films that are on our old channel or motorhoming films of course and we'll be bringing them on to this channel so you don't miss out absolutely yep yeah. so stay tuned all things motorhoming technical trips travels you name it it's great to have you along yeah absolutely and if you enjoy the channel please do subscribe oh, of course please do subscribe and of course the odd like is good too thank you well i'm absolutely starving so it's got to be time for the mm. barbecue isn't it well, yes, and we did uh, treat ourselves, well, A, a very long time ago, must be pushing 20 years ago, when we bought our first uh, Kadak barbecue. Uh, we've upgraded to the Carry Chef uh, 2, um, sometimes known as a, or on the same base as a City Chef 50, all the same sort of thing. The detail of which I'll go into in a moment, but we thought we'd uh, let you have a look at that Kadak great product a lot of fun to use given us many many good years service hasn't it it has indeed yes uh in many a county and in many a country it's been with us um so this upgrade is um is to some of the newer fixtures and fittings that it's got um have a look with us and um enjoy some burger and sausage as well if you're really lucky uh, i'll post one or two of those in the comments below not quite sure how you're going to get to eat them but yeah, uh, well, I can't say that it's going to be gourmet cooking, but... Uh, oh, no, no, no. You know, what no. more do you need with a few sausages, burgers and yeah. whatever and salad? Exactly. What more do you need? Yeah. Lob it on the barbecue. Um, couldn't be easier. But anyway, come and have a look at this Kadak with us and um, see what you think. Let us know, of course, in the comments below. So this is the uh, Kadak Carry Chef 2. Our first Kadak Carry Chef was... Uh, absolutely amazing we've uh, so we've upgraded to the carry chef 2 um, so first and foremost you can see how it sort of stows it comes with depending on which model you buy there's various versions of it comes with pans uh, and covers I should say for your pans which obviously are good because um, it uh, helps to keep them uh, scratch free as it were with the uh, zips and stuff there got the paella pan that we had previously with our last um, carry chef um, and then we got a chef pan the plancher come, came with the package anyway and then you've got various bits and bobs here which uh, all fit into the bag with the two handles again which I'll show you in a sec um, and finally the last bit of it is the uh, three uh, legs that fit onto the barbecue itself um, the way we set up as well is that um, here we've got um, an exterior gas point there so what I've uh, what I've put together is um, I've got put together a hose here um, which I've put quick quick release ends on so the the one on the side of the van obviously lends itself to uh, quick release and therefore um, what I decided to do was to uh, change or to put the quick release version on the other end as well so it makes this um, it makes my new hose um, dead quick to fit on the side of the van got um, a good three meters here which gives us um, three meters which gives us uh, plenty of ability to get sort of away from the side of the van so the quick release um, that's just as simple as slipping that off and then uh, you just uh, push that in and you saw that uh, as we push that in that collar then just slides forward um, so it's exactly the same principle the other end as well which goes to the barbecue so it makes it dead easy to uh, to connect it um, and then once it's actually connected that's the time when you can then turn on the gas to run through from obviously uh, the um, the van's own gas supply which was those two six kilo bottles that we carry around the other side of the van to release the quick release then obviously it's just you just got to uh, press that collar backwards and it immediately releases that fitting there so so um, you can obviously swap your the fitting types over so if you've got the other types that you have to sort of push on or 
screw on or fix on then um, then you can just uh, potentially with a new bit of hose and getting a, getting yourself a couple of extra clips or you can get uh, ready-made up hoses depending on which uh, different ends you want on them um, so uh, uh, a nice simple method if you like for uh, for connecting up be you on a motorhome or indeed down at the beach or out in your back garden the lid itself, built-in temperature gauge, um, good um, heat-free handle, doesn't heat up obviously while you're cooking, and then on the inside, um, that's obviously part of your temperature sensor. Um, this little clip here actually allows you to clip the lid over the side of the barbecue once it's put together, so uh, you'll see that um, see that up in a moment. And then uh, this is the rest of the bag of the uh, Carry Chef 2. Um, and again a uh, big zip bag but it's got all the other components in it um, this is your little table bit that goes halfway up the legs um, the all-important recipe book that comes with the uh, comes with the carry chef and then if we unzip it you can see in here next bit out so if you wanted to just use your barbecue, the burner, uh, with saucepans or your own frying pan, say, then this basically just acts like a acts like a gas hot plate or a ring on your on your cooker. Um, we've then got in here that then fits the griddle itself. Um, we'll have a look at all these uh, all these bits in a moment. Um, to give you all the different types of cooking surfaces you probably could ever possibly want. And then we're down to the sort of all important bits uh, at the base here. So that's the, uh, the bit that the pans sit on. Gas burner and gas ring comes up through the middle there. And finally you've got the burner unit itself which um, really good sized burner in the middle there. Um, it's got on the side there you see you've got your controls there, you've got the uh, igniter as well, piezo style igniter and there you can see uh, the point that I was making earlier, I've fitted another quick release on the other end here so that uh, it's really easy to put together. You can see your screw threads here, all three of them there, for the um, on the one down the bottom there, for the legs to screw on um, and as simple as that. Um, obviously when you're uh, initially getting the first bit put on, getting the legs put together, um, uh, be careful with this burner bit, it's obviously uh, the most important bit of the barbecue. Um, so I would normally put it on at least one of the bags, carefully on the other way up, ready for the legs, um, so that the burner itself doesn't get damaged or any of the uh, nozzles get scratched or caught if you're on a hard surface. So get it on something soft to protect that burner and then, uh, and then we'll get the legs fitted. Legs very simple, they've got um, they've got a little groove there which lines up with a corresponding marker on there so you've no fear of getting them the wrong way around and then the collar just drops down on that, spin it round and that's that's on. It's as quick and as easy as that. Um, so let's get the other two on. And there we go, that's all three on and ready to turn back over. So again, uh, carefully over, making sure you don't damage that uh, all important bit where all your all your gas vents are so that's ready for our our next bit which um, which then houses all of the um, all of the various cooking surfaces that uh, that we've got scattered around us at the moment that obviously sits on there like that and then you're ready to sort of add whichever piece you want so once you've got your legs on then this um, acts as your sort of mid-range table bit and you can see the little bits on the side there just locating those those little grooves halfway up the leg. And then finally locate that one in there one-handed. Excuse the filming angles. So and that's your uh, that's your uh, little table bit for your bits and bobs. Um, obviously, as if with a with a very small gas bottle, you would have an option of having the gas bottle underneath one of those patio gas types, and you could then bring the gas hose up through the uh, through the middle there, 
so um, if you're out and about or down on the beach or whatever with your with your smaller gas bottle the uh, then this was the um, this is the rack for the uh, for the saucepans if you wanted to just use it as if you were boiling a saucepan of water or a frying pan it's got graduations here on this which help the pan obviously stay where you want it to stay um, or then um, if you didn't want to just uh, use it as a conventional cooker style then uh, you could then choose to use any one of these extras so let's have a look at uh, let's have a look at one or two of those Incidentally, while we're, uh, or just as we're about to start looking at some of these cooking surfaces, um, this, as I told you already, is called the Carry Chef 2. Um, but it's also, you, you might also see online things called the Carry Chef 50 or a City 50, things like that. Um, the number refers to the diameter of these plates. So with Kadak products, a lot of them are completely interchangeable, which is really good. So hence we've kept some from our old Carry Chef uh, that now fit the new one. So as long as you get um, the right diameter plates, they're interchangeable across lots of different Kadak products. So Carry Chef 2 and anything with 50 in it um, has these diameter plates. Uh, all of these which are the same so um, they are one of the same they just sort of rebranded and started introducing the number 50 um, and uh, but but uh, they are one of the same so don't worry they will interchange um, if you've got if you're either mixing and matching or if you're uh, looking for what was um, the carry chef original now upgraded so this one they call the um, plancha so it's um, it's really good in that this coating is like completely non-stick um, it's a little bit like a conventional barbecue griddle with the gaps but you've just got a few smaller holes around the edges reason for that is uh, in terms of heat dispersal I'm careful I turn it over you can see there I've got this big central piece here which helps to um, deflect and spread the heat around um, the surface the cooking surface so it's supposed to provide a more effective uh, or more efficient uh, cooking um, they obviously just slot into these as each of the items slot into these side channels in various different ways um, so that uh, the package we bought came with the uh, with uh, the plancher which is a f uh, one of the sort of standard Kadak products um, and then as I say we had some extras which we are carryovers from uh, the our old carry chef um, one of those is the paella pan down here which is a great bit of kit and was really useful to us when uh, the kids were young growing up um, and it's one of those chuck everything in the pan job uh, you could pre-cook pre-cook rice or pasta or indeed use the um, use the saucepan bit to boil up your rice or pasta and then uh, it's a case of a super fast fry on all your veg or whatever lob in the pasta lob in your rice whatever you're doing perhaps a bit of cheese and it's a really good lovely savory dish um so let's have a quick look at the um paella pan so there's the paella pan you can see the sides of it are pretty high and in terms of fit on that it just sits down on those three little support slots down into those three little small things there let me just get it lined up properly there we go um you can see this one's had had uh, been used in anger a fair few times um but still even though we've used this for many years kept its surface really well obviously i'd recommend using plastic utensils on it something that's not going to scratch your non-stick bit but you can see it's quite a deep got quite deep sides on it um, and that means you can get a stack of grub in there if you're feeding well we're a family of four but then obviously when we were camping with um, with relatives there were sometimes eight ten of us abroad and um, this actually quite comfortably you could lob enough food in there for eight ten people it was fantastic um, there is then a slightly different version of it um, and that's this one here which is the chef pan let's just uh, unzip that there we go so you can see there that um, I've got the chef pan to the right here so the chef pan is a much shallower surface um, not as deep as the um, as the paella pan there and it's basically a giant frying pan surface again non-stick um, slots in on exactly the same way 
um, you can see it's got um, uh, a really good sort of heat diffusion type um, structure on the back here um, lightweight very lightweight and therefore the heat travels really swiftly across it and heats it pretty evenly as well which is great um, so let's just swap those two over and there we go so you can see they're all you know all very similar diameter it's that 50 it's the 50 i.e the 50 centimeter or probably a little bit less than 50 centimeter i think 50 might be the outer the outer unit and these are probably 45 46 um, but anything carry chef 2 or carry chef 50 city chef 50 is all all these pans so they'll all interchange um, so there you go that's your slightly shallower one great for uh again fry up the 10 easily if you wanted to do a bit of morning sausage and bacon sarnies fabulous and uh, finally of the ones that I've got uh, for mine I've got this one which, so this one on first glance looks a little bit like the plancher that we saw there that first one uh, with the sort of um, with that sort of bulging back on it which is the heat displacer this one a few more holes in it so it's a bit more like a standard barbecue type grill and if we uh, flip it over you'll see there again it's got a um, similar sort of heat diffusion type process and there it is on um, slots in again to those little um, little grooves there uh, more holes in, a bit more like a griddle, but I guess not a great deal of difference between that and the plancher. They're both very similar. Um, both great for cooking, um, and I think the package we got this time, I think that was one of our originals, together with the paella pan. And I think with the new set, it came with the plancher, and I got the chef pan as an extra. Um, which gives us that uh, gives us more than enough versatility and then finally of course whatever the surface you've got um, on goes your lid um, sits on there temperature gauge works very well it's pretty efficient and, then, um, and so that little hook there um, hooks over the side of the um, the side of the barbecue there um, just so you can see it slotting in there but then also the bottom edge also fits into these little these little slots here each side so it fits slotted in the side there slots into these little bits here and so uh, the reason for that is it's uh, a forward windbreak so you can turn your barbecue to wherever the prevailing wind is coming from and it just gives you that bit of cover there so that when uh, things are getting going initially the wind is uh, less likely to blow out your uh, to blow out your burner so that's it really, um, uh, the uh, full setup, little table bit, different surfaces. Now there are uh, some other bits actually that fit on. There's a piece that uh, you can take that off and then replace that with a pizza stone. Um, so that's another type of uh, surface to cook on. Never tried that, never had the pizza stone, but uh, if any of you have, stick. Uh, stick um, a comment below and what you thought and how it works for you be interested to know about that um, they also do a, another attachment called a scottle and the scottle is um, a little bit like the paella pan but it's it's almost like a giant wok so it's all semicircular or concave um, sits on the top a bit like a wok um, giant stir fry type thing um, and that's really the only difference so not flat but fully concave so that's about it probably one or two other attachments I've forgotten um, but let us know in the comments below let us know what you think of them let us know how you use it um, we'd love to know more and of course if you've got any tasty recipes um, then do let us know in the comments below we'd love to hear them anyway so when our girls were tiny um, gosh back in single figures and they're now in their mid-twenties but we were first using Cadax where I've got one at home on the deck and one that we take to the beach and now we've got this one in the van but some great Kadak memories eh aren't they Rez? Oh we do yeah they are brilliant bits of kit and uh, yeah we've had some great barbecues. 
great, great outdoors. Oh yes, lots of fun. And you remember those French holidays and about oh, yes. a, feeding about a gazillion people in the uh, with everything shoved into the paella pan and the scuttle oh, yes. and everything. Yeah. Massive, massive bowl of yeah, it was. It's great. Yeah, yeah. Getting those French supermarkets because uh, I think we were down near the Ile d'Oloron or the Ile de Ray then, and uh, yeah, it was a case of uh, love trying to get all the good stuff into the uh, little ones as you can after charging round on the beach, eh? Yes, it was uh, good fun. <laughs> it was. Lob it all in, lob in a bit of cheese or whatever, and. Uh, and away you go. But uh, anyway, that's a so that's the Kadak Carry Chef Two. Yeah. Right. Okay. Let's get it fired up. So you can see under there we've got the uh, quick release. So that's just a just a push home like that, um, and it just snaps into place. And similarly, you would just pull this collar back to release it. So as you can see, nice and quick to do. Let's get the other end connected up into there so we've got it all connected we can now turn the gas on so hopefully therefore now all connected up switched on at the mains and it's a simple push in turn it whoops turn it oh there you go heard the gas and I think we heard the flame igniting let's just show you that actually there you go yep yeah, you can just see it starting to heat shimmer a little bit of breeze today so we've just got it in fact turned into the breeze using the lid but uh, really quick really quick to ignite that and, uh, and fire it up just a question of which one should I cut the sausages on oh decisions decisions mm -mm. let me just waft the smell towards you so you can all get a smell of pack of sausages lobbed on there, a couple of burgers, but back to the point about size, great, uh, really good size for uh, cooking a shed load of food um, if you're entertaining for lots of people. Um, again, plastic, I use one of these um, silicone things uh, on the surface of it. Look after the surface of those and they'll keep you going literally for decades, as our last one did. Um, so yeah, definitely don't get anything scratchy on there. But um, really quick, very fast to heat up because of the uh, those uh, discs underneath which really dissipate the heat quick. And um, I'm thoroughly looking forward to these. And I hope you are too. Because you can probably smell them as you're that close. Yummy. Well. Look at mm. that. Round one, what's that like? Delicious. Yum yum, burgers there. And, oh yes. Ready to rock and fabulous. What a fabulous way to spend. Oh, and the sun's coming back again. Look at that. April, Pembrey. Aren't we lucky? And just as we sat down for that barbie, look at that. It's come out full force again. In fact, I may even have to go for my hat. It's still that warm, and what is it now? It's uh, quarter to six now. So, uh, yum, yum. Mm. Yum, yum. And all those clouds that have been going by, they've almost all have missed us because, as you'll remember from our tour around, just sort of just over there, through the trees, that little line of trees there, we're onto the beach. So it's just kept all the clouds away beautifully today. A couple of clouds earlier on while we fired up the barbie, but now it's cleared again. And it's probably the warmest it's been all day. Lush indeed. And there it is, all packed up again. Um, that's obviously the elastic bit is where the lid slides in, but um, while I remember, these bits here as well, um, we've obviously got that bag that the legs go in, which is, a, I think it was an extra, 
because that's the original one we bought years ago. Um, but I think the legs, the alternative place for legs is to put them through here, thread them through through this um, through this elastic. Great. Well, I'll, I am well and truly stuffed with Bob's sizzling sausages. Sizzling sausage. You have to be careful of what what you said there. Sizzling sausages. Sizzling severely sizzling sausages. Severely sizzling sausages with a lot of sauce. Severely succulent sizzling sausages with a with slops of sauce, something like that. Anyway. Yeah, it's very nice anyway. So what do you think? Is it good? Yeah, love the bar love the uh, barbecue setup. The Kadak is great, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and that um, uh, getting those quick releases each end that's been really good. That's a that's a change to our first Kadak that we had. Um, and a welcome addition but hope that gave you a quick insight into it if you were thinking of getting one and adding it to your caravan or your tent uh, certainly for our first 10 years it was with us when we were camping in the tents with the girls and um, uh, by all means uh, if you've got any questions at all or any comments about it we love to see your comments um, down below so well, I think it's goodbye from me for the moment. Absolutely, yeah. Um, <laughs> as always, guys, thanks for coming along and uh, we look forward to seeing you again very soon. Take yeah, care. See you soon. Bye, Bye. now. Bye.